Well, this next story is sure to bring a smile to your face. It's about the successful end to a two month search to rescue a lost dog in Hollister. Perhaps the only thing sweeter than the happy ending is the little girl responsible for it. Here's Action News reporter Garvin Thomas. There is only so much life experience one can really gain by the age of six. I'm good at riding bikes. But when it's the right experience, as Megan Topping recently showed the adults in her life, good practice, including her mom Karen, and a horse. it can make all the difference. She taught me a huge lesson that day. The story begins in the fields and orchards of Hollister, where a few months ago people began spotting a stray dog. The Hollister Animal Lost and Found Facebook page was quickly on the case. They learned the dog had escaped from a new home just two days after being adopted and clearly had no interest in going back. She was in what we call fight or flight mode. Deanna Barth and her experienced rescue team tried and tried and failed for two months to catch the dog. I've done animal rescue for years, but all of the typical things like cage traps and baiting with smelly foods and all of those things was not working. So our only way to get her to earn, you know, to be able to earn her trust was to get someone that she might remember. <laughs> Which is where Megan comes in. You see, Megan and her mom foster and train rescue dogs in their Morgan Hill home. 75 in just the past year alone. We've done some therapy dogs and we've trained some Obedience dog, she has retrained several feral puppies. One of those dogs, it turns out, was Daisy, the Hollister Stray. And though only in the Topping's home for a few weeks. Her bond with Megan was uncanny. Which is why in late December, Karen and Megan drove to Hollister to see what they could do and saw Daisy sitting in a field. Daisy. Karen started shooting video and wasn't the one who told Megan what to do next. Megan says that was Daisy. She told me, because you can talk to dogs in your brain, and she told me if mom stayed in the truck, she would come to me, So, and I believed it. So out Megan went, laid down right in the middle of the field, and waited. I didn't have a plan, I just started doing. And I used all my experience with the dogs, Daisy was cautious at first, but then this dog who had run from every well-meaning adult looking to help her finally yes. surrendered to the charms oh, good girl. of a six-year-old dog whisperer. I am so proud of my kid. I was just amazed. I could not believe my eyes. There's no way to watch that and not cry, huh? This is the best foster dog that I've ever had.